Well, after 3,200 metres, it came down to a nose. Heartbreak City living up to its name, beaten on the line by Al Mandan in the Melbourne Cup. SBS reporter Abby Dinham was at Flemington for the big race and joins us now live. Abby, one of the closest races we've seen in years. Certainly was, Anton, and it was a fairy tale finish for El Manquin in the 156th running of the Melbourne Cup. Now, this was a horse, despite coming from the Lloyd Williams stables, wasn't really on the radar for many of the punters because of injuries, hadn't run a race in a couple of months, but the seven year old gelding held on to take out one of the world's richest turf races. Over 100,000 turned out to Flemington to watch the event and join in the fun and fashion of the Melbourne Cup amongst them thousands of tourists. The Melbourne Cup Carnival brings in hundreds of millions of dollars for the state every year and with punters coming from a far afield as the China and the US, that's certainly going to continue. By the thousands they came, the elegant, the colourful and the downright bizarre. <laughs> More than 100,000 turned up at Flemington for the 156th running of the Melbourne Cup. For a while, the horses taking a back seat to the fashion. Dare to be noticed is my slogan, so boom. Looks a bit crazy. <laughs> the premier horse racing event in Australia. It's getting bigger and bigger every single year. With an apparent international appeal. This is like the Oscars of the Kentucky Derby. A change of scene for Australia's gold-winning Olympic athletes Gun swapped for gown, but a good luck charm hidden in the purse. It's a bit hard to try and recognise everyone because we're so used to being, seeing each other in uniform. Liz Cambridge spinning discs, not basketballs, as the party began. <laughs> but the day's most popular attraction remained the bookies. Next race, oh, the cup. Every punter with their own formula for picking a winner. It's all about the butt. <laughs> There was Ethiopian horse. I don't think there is this year. So yeah, I'm just going to pick anything. More than 250 million wagered on the race, but only a few will leave winners. The clientele with a distinctly Asian flavour after a year spent promoting the cup in China. For the first time, the race will be broadcast live via Twitter and also into China via a Chinese carrier, building on a market that's grown 40% in the last year. And while the horses remain centre stage for the punters, it's the fashion and entertainment attracting the tourists. The Chinese traveller becoming the uh, want more interest uh, uh, traditional horse rides. Today is the most special for all the children. With the champagne uncorked. <laughs> The crowds paused as a seven-year-old gelding crossed the line. Mandan, won it by a very narrow margin from Heartbreak City. A broken-down German galloper transformed to a Melbourne Cup winner by a former AFL player. A second Cup victory for jockey Karen McAvoy and a moment to remember for millions watching around the world. And for those lucky enough to have backed the horse, I'm sure the celebrations will continue tonight. For the rest of Melbourne, back to work tomorrow. More on the race that stops the nation later in sport. Thanks. That's Amy Dinham reporting live from Flemington.